that the Word of God is timeless. Yes. Yeah. That it wasn't just an ancient book written to a culture 2,000 years ago or 6,000 years ago or however long. It's, it's relevant. Jesus said that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word That's right. will not yeah. pass. And everything we need to know about righteousness and life and God is found in the pages of this book. And that's why we need to be so intentional, first of all, to know it for ourselves yeah. as adults. Yeah. And then the people in our lives that God has us influencing, that we would be able to model what that looks like. Yeah. It's yeah. not just... Do what I say and not as yeah. I do. Modeling you know? it. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important for the mm -hmm. younger generation as we're thinking about how do we interact on social mm -hmm. media? Mm -hmm. How do we talk to each other on social media? How do Christians talk about other Christians on social media? Mm -hmm. Realize that a world that doesn't know that God loves them, a lost world who doesn't know Jesus, is watching how we talk to each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. And the next generation is looking at how we're women mm -hmm. interacting with each other. And they're trying to see, how do I live? How do I be a yeah. woman? Yeah. What is this world they're inviting me into? They're watching us. Well, they're watching. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm. um, we've got to be teaching them how to seek righteousness by living righteously. Yeah. Because we have a generation that in some areas doesn't know the difference between unrighteousness and righteousness because unrighteousness is celebrated as righteousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like this is a, mm -hmm. a righteous anger or this is a, I can righteously go against what the Bible says. So the mm -hmm. Bible says, you know, don't cause division, don't gossip, don't slander, but this is righteous gossip. Mm -hmm. And this is righteous <laughs> slander. Yeah. And this is righteous <laughs> division. And this, and I'm like, like, since when did doing something contrary to the Word of God become mm -hmm. righteousness? Mm -hmm. But if we don't know what the Word of God says, Says, right. we will take what culture says and they say, yeah. today we've decided these things are righteous. These <laughs> lifestyles are righteous. Mm. These uh, patterns of behaviour are righteous. These attitudes are righteous. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, that's not what the scripture says. But if you don't know what the scripture says and you just yeah. like that person, yeah. you're going to say, but I think what they're saying is right. Mm. And so I actually think it's a spiritual formation issue. Like this mm -hmm. could be a real challenge mm -hmm. for a generation on when you call unrighteousness righteousness, when yeah. you unrighteously go about pursuing righteousness, I don't think when Jesus said seek righteousness, he meant unrighteously go and seek righteousness. Like, <laughs> wow. you know, there's wow. just something that seems so out of control in our mm -hmm. culture in this, in this particular mm -hmm. moment, mm -hmm. yeah. which of course then lends itself to that there is an enemy that wants yeah. to cause divisiveness and confusion. He doesn't want people to fulfill their destiny because no, if people right. actually really discover the true righteousness of God and the freedom that it brings, yeah. the yep. liberty that it brings, the purpose that it brings, um, because a lot of these other anger and the divisiveness and the confusion, it's not bringing freedom. People are more nope. anxious than ever. People yeah. are more depressed than ever. Mm -hmm. People are more angry than ever. Uh, you know, purposes are not being fulfilled. I mean, the only one that is winning is the enemy. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a benefit of seeking the yeah. kingdom of God yeah. and his righteousness yeah. first. Yep. And he says, I'll give you all the other stuff. That's okay. But um, I don't know how how much we're seeking righteousness or whether there are times we confuse mm -hmm. seeking my way or my vindication mm -hmm. as seeking righteousness. Yeah. And then really what has crept in is just self-righteousness yeah. and self-judgment. Yeah. And I'm wondering if right now on the earth, there's a whole lot of self-judgment and mm -hmm. self-righteousness mm -hmm. kind of happening. Yeah. I agree. No, most Thanks definitely, so. because even you just said that um, so perfectly that just the agenda of the enemy to cancel people from fulfilling their destiny, yes. because if I could just, the only thing the enemy needed said, like, I just needed to be public. And we live in a social media right. age where mm -hmm. everything yeah. is public. Mm. And so if people, because a lot of times people don't understand the need for the righteousness of God and the grace and the mercy of God until they're in need of it themselves. <laughs> That's totally, right. Totally. And so as yeah. long as I'm not in need of it, yeah. I can point the finger mm -hmm. because all my mess is hidden. I only know it. Mm -hmm. And the only difference between me and the next person is that his is on display. Hers is on display. So I can join the bandwagon yeah. and judge and pick and all of that. But I believe also on the flip side that we are entering a, a time that would represent what it meant for Jesus to leave the 99 and go after the one. Because going after the one is not the popular thing to do. That's right. Going after the one is not what, that's not what the, where the crowd goes to. The crowd is going a whole different direction. And it's not that Jesus, you know, abandoned them. He's, he's like, I already have you guys covered. Yes. But I believe that who we have to be now as believers right. is to say, you know what? I'm not going to follow the crowd. I'm going to go after the one, the one that has been canceled, mm -hmm. the one that has been How? condemned. Mm -hmm. I'm going right. to go after because there's a yeah. reason why that one will be separated 
because that's not even sheep behavior. Mm -hmm. They follow <laughs> one another. Yeah. So there's a reason for that one to be separated, you know. So I just love even the parable of Jesus because then that tells me mm -hmm. that someone who is part of the fold no longer feels like they're part of the fold mm -hmm. or part of the flock. Mm -hmm. That something has happened that has caused a divide within themselves yeah. to say, I am not that person anymore. Right. I have to walk away from this. I am no longer the one that can accomplish mm -hmm. the will of God or the purpose of God. And Jesus, he's looking at that person and he says, I'm going to go after you mm -hmm. and remind mm -hmm. you of who you are. And I believe that's the time we're entering because right now everyone is canceling that one person. Right. Mm -hmm. And we don't realize that that one person, it only took Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> that one person, we don't know the impact of that one person's life. And Satan is somewhere saying, yeah. oh, I got him. I yes. got her. Mm -hmm. And we have to now use our voices to say, mm -hmm. that's not the righteousness mm -hmm. of God. That's right. And I loved you mm -hmm. talked about the need for gatherings, whether it's mm -hmm. amongst women. Mm -hmm. And just like you do in your family, mm -hmm. even in our homes, mm -hmm. how are we modeling that to yeah, our absolutely. you know, family members? Right. our cousins, our children, uh, husbands, why, all of that. How do we model like, hey, let's sit mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. I know you're consumed right. by everything you're hearing mm -hmm. in the public and all of that, but let's mm -hmm. talk about this and let's mm -hmm. put it against the word of God. Mm -hmm. Like, let's get the word of God involved in this. What does Jesus say about these times? Because it just takes a change of perspective yeah. to change a community that ends yeah. up changing the world. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.